Happy Halloween, Gemini. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is your weekly tarot forecast. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, especially if this reading resonates with you, and that way you won't miss any of the daily, weekly, or monthly tarot readings that we do for your sign. Okay, let's get straight into it and see what is on your mind. What is the situation for Gemini? What is the message coming through for you for this coming week? Let's see here. All right, and we start out with the Hanged Man. So let's see what the message might be with the Hanged Man. We're going to lay out the rest of our Dove and Serpent spread. And that is, of course, going to include this mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. And we're going to just leave that right here. We're not going to look at that until the very end. So stick around to the end of the video. And hopefully that card will, you know, tie the reading together or give us that confirmation that we're looking for. Okay, so let me just straighten these out a little bit and see, looks like we've got a lot of water, got a couple of majors, we've got some earth, not a lot of earth, but a little bit of earth, a little bit of air. What we don't see really is very much fire. There's a little bit of fire, not what you would think, but it's coming, we'll get to that in a moment. First of all, let's talk about this hanged man, okay? And the hanged man's being crossed by this knight of swords, which I think is representing you in some way, all right? And with the hanged man here, I wonder if there's something going on in your life that you kind of need to sacrifice or you need to let go of something. Uh, there, could be, there, could, there could be a relationship here. Now that I'm looking at the rest of these cards, there could be a, a form of a relationship. Now, maybe not, be, maybe not a romantic relationship. It could be a business relationship right? Could be some kind of a work thing. But it is <clears throat> something that you need to sacrifice, you need to let go of. I feel like right now you're in this kind of awkward position, right? You're kind of suspended from moving forward with your life, with your success, with your plans, with your abundance, you know, going after your goals. You're kind of suspended from action right now because you're in this awkward position. And I think with this, with this Prince of Swords, I feel like this is you trying to communicate, trying to sort this thing out to the best of your ability, right? Using your mind, using your reasoning, your logic to sort this thing out. So since this is really crossing the path of the hanged man right now, I feel like there's some definite action that you need to take to get yourself out of this awkward position, to get yourself away from whatever this relationship is that is preventing you from moving forward with your future, okay? So the hanged man there, you're in an awkward position. And again, with this swords card, it's up to you to make the choices, make the decisions, take the action to get yourself out of this position. Now let's see if we can get a little bit more insight into what this position is or what caused it or what its nature may be. We see some more air here with the justice or adjustment card, which rules the sign of Libra, which is an air sign. So this is kind of indirect air, just like we had some air here with the Prince of Swords, right? But this justice or adjustment card is talking about a more formal relationship that you have. So that's why I'm thinking it maybe it, it could be a romantic thing like a marriage, it could be a business relationship, but I, I see that's very formal. So if there's a deep commitment there, almost like a contract kind of thing, right? So it's almost like a just a professional relationship or it's a, a deeply committed relationship, but it could be like a legally binding relationship, right? And for some reason with this card, I'm getting an L name in here, I'm getting the letter L. And I don't know if this is, again, if this is a, a family member, if it is a, you know, a spouse, or if this is in terms of your business and finances. I think whatever it is, wherever this relationship is, is taking place and existing, I think that there is 
a potential for your future, and we're going to go right here to the immediate future with this 10 of discs. And this is kind of, this is what the outcome hopefully will be. Right? This is, this is where you kind of want things to go. And this is that wealth, that abundance. This is having that wonderful success and all the, all the money and achievements, reaching all of your goals. Right? And we're assuming this is in the workplace or a career situation. But it could equally apply to a marriage or a romantic situation where you really need to focus on your success, your future, your prosperity, your well-being, right? All of those things related to this 10 of discs. But again, what is in your way of this? What is preventing this from manifesting, from becoming a reality? Is this awkward position that you're in with whoever this person is, whatever relationship that is, they've kind of got you over a barrel. They've got you in this awkward position where you are suspended from action, suspended from reaching this 10 of discs, this goal, your achievements, your success. And it could be that you are, you know, you're literally this, this hanged, maybe not literally, but you're this hanged man figure. You're in this awkward position and you're suffering and you're not able to really free yourself or it feels that way feels like you're just kind of, you're stuck here. And it doesn't feel good. Because you really want to get here. You really want to get to this 10 of discs. And now this is really the only earth card that we have here. So this is really, to me, symbolizes that's the goal. That's where we want to be. That's where we're headed. And the work now, this week, is how do we get there? How do we go from this situation to this goal, right? Well, again, with this Prince of Swords, it's really up to you. It's your decision, your actions that have to, you have to free yourself from this position, right? And we might see some indication of how that will come about, but first let's go to this Art or Temperance card. This is a major arcana card. This is a heavyweight influence here. And this kind of represents the reading in a nutshell. And this is really uh, that kind of taking the energy into yourself and making it a part of you, making yourself whole. And this is kind of strategizing on how to do that. And it's almost like you have to really be careful how you maneuver in this situation, right? Whatever this, I should just keep these in my hand. Whatever this situation is, you've really got to finesse it, right? And you're trying right now to really just kind of, like I said, just gather all of the energy into you, like learn all of the facts, absorb, observe, and really learn what's going on and to be be able to formulate a plan or a strategy to get yourself out of this situation, right? That's the art or the temperance card. This is kind of biding your time, playing it cool, learning as much as you can, strategizing, formulating a really good plan to get yourself out of this situation. All right, so this card's about kind of tactics and strategy. My cat agrees with me. And so this is kind of the, the situation in a nutshell where you are really trying to come up with a plan, figure out how to get yourself out of this situation, right? So the, the reading is not so much about the situation, although there, there are some indications of kind of what is going on or why or with whom. But the main focus is what's your plan, what's your strategy to get out of this, to get to this 10 of discs. It doesn't matter to me what the situation is or why you're here, but what matters is how you're going to strategize, use your art and your skill and your finesse to get out of that, to get out of this situation and get to here, to this 10 of discs. Okay, this is the goal here. And another card that we see, this is down here just beneath the surface. Let me 
put these back in order. This is just beneath the surface. This is the fool. This is the wanderer, right? The holy fool, the wandering spirit. This is, again, just beneath the surface. So this is your instinct or impulse to really have this freedom. Whatever, something has got you really locked in. You're really locked into this situation. I feel like it's probably more of a business thing or a work career related situation. But someone or something's got you really locked in and you're starting to feel a little suffocated by it. You're starting to feel a little too contained. Does that make sense? Is that resonating with you? If it's resonating, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. So I feel <clears throat> like there's this part of you that really just wants to break free, that wants to let loose, that wants to be yourself, that wants to explore, have adventures, have this freedom. But you can't because you're in this position, you're over this barrel, you're in this awkward kind of relationship. These circumstances are not ideal. You're kind of suffering. You're prevented from reaching your goal, right? And you kind of just want the freedom with the fool to go after your goal in your own way and have the, the satisfaction and the fulfillment that you're after. Okay. So that's what we see going on in the path of the dove here. And I think that's pretty straightforward. I think, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll do my best to, to answer them. I try to respond to every comment. Now on the path of the serpent here, we see a little bit more about what might be going on internally. We see a little bit more about maybe not so much the cause of the situation, but how it's affecting you. And we see some indication of who might be involved. I think primarily there are these two water sign people involved. Okay, I think that it might be an older male and an older female energy. But water sign people. And if you don't know their astrological sign, if you don't know their sun, moon, or rising signs, they may have this aspect of their personality where they are very friendly and amicable, almost over the top nice. You know those people, right? We've all, we've all been there. They just seem a little too friendly, a little too enthusiastic and nice, where it almost seems like they're hiding something, covering something up, masking their true feelings or their true agenda or intentions by all of this friendliness, right? So I think these two people are involved. Now, the Knight of Cups was in the position of your ego, kind of what's been on your mind, what's your, what's your kind of headspace like lately? And with the Knight of Cups, I still think this is probably one of the people involved, right? This kind of maybe older masculine energy, water sign person, or has those kinds of watery qualities that we were talking about. But this is also representing you and your ego, right? Like I said. So what I'm getting here is a feeling like you've really tried to be generous, right? This figure is kind of like making an offering, like presenting a gift. And I think that this is kind of your, your mind state where you maybe were trying to be generous. You were trying to be maybe even a little charitable. You're trying to do the right thing, help somebody out perhaps, offer them something, present a gift of some kind, right? And that might, might be what has in some ways led you to this uncomfortable being over a barrel kind of situation. It could be really through no fault of your own other than this act of generosity, this gift, this offering of some kind, right? Could have been offering your commitment, your devotion, your time, your energy. It could have been, you know, a financial gift or commitment or, you know, a legally binding gift or commitment. You know what I mean? But I think... Again, while this represents one of the people that may be involved, it also represents maybe your state of mind or your energy kind of right around this time and that feeling of, 
of offering, of devotion, of, of um, presenting this person or these people with something from yourself, right? It could be your commitment, your loyalty, or this contract, if, it's, if it is literally a legally binding thing. But I think that's kind of your generous and helpful and charitable spirit, right? Now, the next card we have is talking directly about this relationship that you have with these people or this person or this entity, this group of people. And that's the Ten of Cups. I think that you had expectations here for some uh, success and prosperity. You thought this was really going to be a good thing. It was really going to lead to great places, great fulfillment, great achievements. But it's just kind of more overwhelming and more disappointing at the same time, right? It may be that too much is being asked of you. It may be that uh, this group, this person, or these people are just too needy and too demanding of your energy, and it's taking a toll emotionally. It's kind of wearing you down in terms of your feelings and, and how you are kind of valuing this situation where now it's, it's losing a little bit of its value to you, and you're starting to see that it may have been a little bit of a mistake. And I think this is directly related over here to this art or temperance card where you're trying to now strategize. You're trying to figure out and really plan kind of covertly, what do I do? How do I get out of here? How do I get out of this hanged man position? How do I get out of this contract agreement, whatever this situation is? You're really trying to formulate the best possible plan. You're gonna finesse it. Right? And so, you know, it's overwhelming you emotionally, this situation. And it's still, it could be, it could be like a marriage or a domestic thing, living situation. It could be financial, work, employment, career. It could be both. It could be this kind of the same thing, both together. And now the next card is this Queen of Cups. And this represents, I think, another person involved here, because we said it was these two water sign people. And this older feminine energy water sign person or has these a, a watery aspect to their personality this is the person i think that you're really almost afraid of not afraid but this is the person that represents the biggest obstacle for you like this is going to be the most challenging part of the whole situation is kind of getting past this person and this is someone, um, again, who is, I think, an older feminine energy. And it's like they have a veil between themselves and you. So you can never quite see their face. You can never quite know what it is they're thinking or feeling or what they're about. Right? You try to peer through that veil, but it's, it's dim. It's darkly lit. And so you can never really discern what their game is, what their angle is, what they're planning, what they're feeling. If they're being sincere, if they're trying to be manipulative, it's just there's, you're getting a, a hard read on this person, right? And this is the biggest thing to overcome. And I think, I think the, where the fear comes in is you don't know how they're going to react when you put your plan into action, right, to get yourself out of this position. You don't know how they're going to react, what they're going to do, what they're capable of doing, because you can't get a read on this person. And this is that obstacle that you have to overcome. You have to just formulate the best plan possible using that art or temperance card. Put it into action and do your best to overcome this obstacle. This is, you know, the, the number one obstacle. Now, the culmination of this energy on the path of the serpent is this five of swords. This is, the keyword here is defeat. Somebody is going to be losing, you know, this situation. There's going to be a winner and there's going to be a loser. And I think if you were to stay in this position, in this uncomfortable, over a barrel spot that you're in, you will never reach this ten of discs. And therefore you will be the loser. You will be not the person that comes out on top, comes out victorious. So it's up to you again, like I said, it's through your choices. And again, 
my cat is, my cat is, well, I can't reach her. My cat is agreeing with me here. And I think she is confirming that it is up to you. It is your choice, your actions that are going to decide kind of who comes out on top here. And it could, I mean, really be related to this strategy. This plan that you have needs to be pretty much bulletproof, right? And so at the end, at the culmination of all of this energy, there's going to be this battle. And it's going to be an intellectual battle, a battle of words, a battle of, of strategy, you know? It's going to take some finessing. It's going to take some work on your part. But through your actions, through your decisions and your fearlessness, your courage, I think you can come out on top here. Now, we're going to look at this confirmation card to see if that will give us some indication of what your strategy may be or maybe how quickly you'll be able to overcome this situation or what else you might be able to do to become victorious, to be on top in this situation, right? Come here, you want to sit up here? Come here. Come on. Here we go. All right, what do you think this confirmation card's going to be? Could it be... Gosh, I don't know. We had such good cards here already with the, the Fool and the Hanged Man and the Justice card. I don't know. I don't know what this could really be. Um, there are some indications. Maybe it will be a, a Four of Discs, right? The stability, the kind of all your needs are being met and you've kind of, you know, you've secured yourself within your castle and you're protected, but that's not really a win either. That's almost like you're just kind of fortifying yourself against any kind of besiegement, right? Well, let's see what this is. This could be really any number of things. Well, this is even better than the four of discs, the princess of discs. This is really saying that, yeah, you're going to have that four of discs energy, but you're going to have the ten of discs energy too. You're going to have all of it. All of the elements are going to be well contained and well represented in this card. So I think what she is symbolizing is the kind of the ways and means that you're going to uh, attain your victory is really by utilizing everything at your disposal, all of your resources, you need to gather them together. There might be a financial cost, an emotional cost, an intellectual cost, a spiritual cost. You're going to have to be creative. You're going to have to use your, your spiritual energy. You're going to have to use your physical energy, right? And your emotional energy. And it's really, this card is, is really all-encompassing. And on top of the, the kind of ways and means that you're going to obtain and attain your victory... This is also kind of the result of that victory. It's going to be success and abundance with this 10 of discs. Oh, you're scratching me. You're scratching me. It's going to be all of the wealth and success and fulfillment from the 10 of discs, right? But it's going to be so much more. It's going to be a relief of this emotional weight and heaviness, right? So there's going to be kind of an emotional victory for you, as well as the physical financial victory, and the intellectual victory too, right? You're going to kind of outmatch this person or this situation strategically, right? You're going to outwit them. And I think it's really going to be a victory spiritually for you too. It's going to be, it's going to do a lot for your confidence and your assertiveness and your sense of power and control, right? So I think that you're really, you're really up against it this week. But with all of this energy, the way it's flowing, I really think that you've got a really, really high possibility of kicking this thing's butt, getting yourself out of this situation. I don't know how long you've been in this hanged man situation, but it seems to me like maybe it's been a minute, right? See, maybe it's been, it's been a minute, but now the way this energy is flowing, I think, I think you're going to, you're going to come out on top. You're going to come out victorious, but you have to be willing to enter the fight and use your, have that strategy, have that plan, pool all of your resources together, muster all of your forces 
and you can you can win this battle. Uh, Gemini, we're going to look at this a little bit more in the extended version, and you can become a member of this channel by clicking on the link down in the description box. Uh, this was your weekly tarot forecast on Dove and Serpent Tarot. You want to read the cards with me? Huh? You want to read the cards? Why don't you come right over here? 